So we're here at uh, Sweet Protection and uh, we're standing here with Don. How are you doing? Th third day here on ISPO. Are you still holding up? Holding up. Attempting to at least. Great. And uh, this year you're actually launching uh, some goggles. Then that's the first, uh, first time for you. How does that feel? Feels great. We put in so much work in these goggles, so it's really nice to put them out there and get reactions on, on the work we do. Super, and uh, you're holding uh, kind of the top model, the uh, free ride model. It's what is it called, and uh, what features does it have? Uh, this is uh, the Interstellar. It's a free ride tool. Uh, we like to call it a tool because uh, we are about protection and functionality. Uh, of course, it should look good, but the main thing of this is the protection and the functionality of it. And uh, Everything starts with a lens, and uh, being a prote protection company, we uh, uh, have worked with the lens to create uh, maximum protection for, uh, for impacts and also for uh, uh, UV light and, and blue light control, and also uh, optical clarity and uh, giving you maximum contrast when moving in the backcountry. And you, you haven't been working with lenses, uh, so have you just taken some other brand's lens and rebranding it or have you developed yourself or how have you approached this uh, project? Uh, we have tried to uh, look for lenses that would fill our philosophy with protection but uh, we have made our own to, to, to actually uh, do this uh, because we want uh, to be 100% sure that we can protect and, 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 uh, and stand for what we are doing with our customers. So, uh, yeah? Yeah, so let's get into detail. And, and what do you call this uh, lens technology? Uh, we call it uh, RIG, which is shor short for Retina Illumination Grading. One more time. A retina illumina Illumination Grading. Retina Illumination Grading. And what does that mean in, in English? It means that uh, we are controlling the light. Uh, we are blocking 100% the UV light below 400 uh, nanometers and uh, we're giving just enough uh, light to give you the contrast that you need to uh, move in the backcountry, but not so much that it gives you a headache after a few hours. Can you show us the lens and, uh, and what more features it has? Uh, the lens uh, is made from a high-grade uh, uh, polycarbonate. Uh, it is uh, quite stiff to ensure that you don't get any uh, distortion, and also it's extremely impact-proof. Uh, we tested this uh, lens in the laboratory uh, a few months back and it exceeded our expectations and the machine that we tested it with couldn't create enough force to break it. So this means that you have uh, a product that actually protects your eyes in case of an impact. If you hit a shark fin uh, going down a mountain when tomahawking down, this will protect your head. So you, you can't fall with this uh, and still it won't fall apart? It won't fall apart, or if you hit a tree and there's a small stub from a branch sticking out, it won't penetrate the lens, it will protect you, always. Cool, and uh, I noticed that uh, there's a little hole on the lens on the inside, but I guess that is intentional. Yes, this is our uh, gore vent, which is uh, equalizing the pressure inside and outside the lens. So this means that if you are going uh, to the Alps, you enter the plane, the cabin pressure drops, which means that there are more pressure inside between the inner and outer lens that needs to be, uh, be uh, evacuated. And then you uh, land again, the pressure changes, and then you take the cabin to the top of the mountain when you get to your mountain resort. And that means that the, cabin ch the, the, the pressure changes again. Uh, and then you need to, to evacuate this pressure without uh, letting water uh, come in and out. And this is a, a gore vent that we're using for this. So it's basically it, uh, it ventilates the air from the, between the two lenses uh, when the pressure changes. Pressure equalization. And the reason for this is to always keep the optical properties so that you see what you are doing. And it's not like you are looking through uh, glass in, at the wrong direction. Everybody knows that it's really weird if you put your hand down into a stream, uh, everything gets uh, bent. So that's what we want to avoid. Good, and when you clip the lens off, you, it looks like, do you have a solution there on how to do that? 
Yeah, a lot of uh, uh, a lot of the rage these days is with magnetic uh, fixation, uh, which is very easy and fast to take on and off. But uh, being a protective company, we don't want our customers to lose the lens if they are falling. Uh, if you're falling, you hit the ground once. You could fall. You could continue down the mountain and then maybe hit a rock. So you need your lens to be in place. So what we have here is a mechanical fixation. Uh, we call it the eccentric lock. And you have, you drop your lens onto the, to the frame, and it's fixed with magnets so that it doesn't fall off, so you don't unintentionally lose the frame, lose the lens. And then you, underneath here you have uh, levers that pulls the lens onto the frame. Okay, so that mechanically locks the lens. Yeah, so now it's you can't possibly pull it off the the frame. And also you have this nice little tab here so you can handle the lens without actually touching the glass. So you can have your crisps and ha change the lens at the same time. Brilliant. And uh, how about underneath the lens here? It's kind of the dark and you have... Uh, what's your philosophy there on, um, on seeing down, so to speak? Yeah, on the lens here we have... Um, you have a sm small sculpture and that does two things. Uh, one thing is that uh, if you are moving in the mountains, the reason why you go snow blind if you don't have uh, any eyewear is because you get all the reflected light from the ground up into your eye, so it overloads your eye. So what we have here is a small sculpture. It, it uh, breaks the light coming from below so that it uh, further eases and, and takes away light coming from below and it also strengthens the lens to, to, to give it the properties that it needs for protection and stiffness. Cool, and uh, let's go into see, uh, then, uh, then you can change the lens of course and uh, when you buy it, which, uh, which lens will you get and which lens is the most uh, versatile? We have uh, quite an extensive uh, program of lenses. Um, uh, the most versatile uh, lenses are what we call Amethyst. It comes in two versions, a normal one and a lighter one. And the lighter one is perfect in uh, Nordic countries from uh, November till February. Uh, whereas the normal Amethyst is more all around. Uh, it also works when uh, it's bluebird out. And also you have a range of uh, mirror-coated uh, lenses with the rig technology that uh, you can buy if you like a red lens or a green lens or, or whatever. They all have great functionality. Uh, and we also have some clear lenses and uh, really high VLT lenses that let through a lot of light that you can use going with a headlamp or uh, at night skiing. Cool. And uh, do you know... When will these uh, goggles come out in, uh, for the customers? Uh, you will be able to get it in the fall. And uh, if you want to buy the Interstellar, what uh, kind of money are we talking about? Uh, the price for the goggle with the lens is uh, around 2,000 kroner and up. So that depends on which lens you choose, I guess? If you get a bonus pack with an extra lens, it's about uh, 2,500 kroner or 250 euros. And then you're set for skiing? Yes, and you're ready to go. Super, That's, uh, then we've covered uh, pretty much the Interstellar, but uh, let's talk a little bit about, uh, you get two more or three more frames and lenses, right? Yes, we have, uh, we use the same lens as in the Interstellar with the same optical properties and the same uh, protection uh, standards. And we have implemented it in, in a, in, a, in another frame here that is uh, a more of a conventional uh, fixation. Uh, and the thing with, with this is uh, it has a more of an all-round uh, purpose uh, and it's really tight sitting to your face. So that means that the low stack height gives uh, a really good uh, field of vision and it fills out your helmet to, to the rear on the sides. So even though it's not a, a, a super oversized goggle, you will get really unsurpassed uh, peripheral vision. Cool, that's the clockwork. And then you got uh, the firewall. What can, is this the, sort of like the, the basic model or how would you describe it? Uh, I would describe it as an um, entry-level premium goggle. Uh, entry-level premium goggle. Yes. 
It's uh, it still has a lot of nice premium features. That's really good uh, state of the business uh, oleophobic and hydrophobic treatment. It has a really nice uh, acetate inner lens that has this inbuilt uh, anti-fog uh, properties and a nice solid strap and, uh, and uh, molded on buckles and uh, a really cool uh, contemporary look. And then you, I guess you can get uh, the different types of lenses to, uh, no matter what frame you choose, you can get uh, all the different types, right? Yeah, you have a wide range of uh, of lenses in for every kind of uh, condition that you uh, you would encounter. Yeah. And if you're short of money, which we skiers are sometimes, if you want to go with the firewall and get the the cheapest possible uh, lens, what what can you retail it for? Uh, this uh, starts at uh, 899 uh, sec or uh, 89 euros. And then, then you get, of course, just one lens, I guess. Yeah, then you get one lens, but you get a really uh, good lens and a good uh, basic uh, premium goggle here. Thanks a lot, uh, Don, for showing your uh, new project and innovation here. You're welcome. And uh, we got some more clips here from ISPO. Make sure to check them out and uh, don't forget to subscribe. All right, thanks.